Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software Technologies. In this GeoTools video, I'm going to show you the command to create a cross-sectional profile from 3D polylines. It is available under the Civil Tools and it's called GT underscore profile which you can run from the command line as well. You need to first select 3D polylines. You can select one or multiple polylines together. So I'm going to select this. Now this is important. You need to specify the profile parameters here. There are quite a few of them. So let me explain what each one means and it's not very difficult. It's easy once you get the hang of it. The first thing that you need to know is what you want to annotate. You can either annotate the source points of the polyline or you can annotate by linear interpolation. So I'm going to choose this option first. The vertical exaggeration factor is by default it's 1 but you can change it to any other value you like. Profile interval is 20 so at every 20 units along the polyline you're going to get a profile. Annotation is the interval at which chain age and height annotations are to be created. Reference height in this case I have set it to 370. This can be easily understood by clicking quick stats. So quick stats will give you the minimum x, maximum x, minimum y, maximum y and z and so on. So in this case you can see the minimum z is 375 and the maximum z is 515. So based on that I have set the reference height as 370. Annotation text height, root name is important because if you are doing multiple profiles then you may want to identify different profiles by different root names. The profile layers is where the different components of the profile will go like you have layers for top, grid, vertical, base, annotation and so on. The starting chain age is normally zero but if you are doing continuation profile from one traverse to another then you may want to specify this as 1000 or 2000 or whatever. Normally the topo sheets are all the pipeline survey or the you know irrigation surveys are done from 0 to 1 kilometer, 1 to 2 kilometers and so on. So in such cases you may want to change the starting chain age. Similarly the starting chain age count can be changed. The profile grid X and Y size can be specified if you are creating profile grid. Let us first create without profile grids and then I will show you how to do it with the profile grid. Over here you can see all the annotation distances. So the annotation distance for the height chain age, chain age names, segment distances, x coordinate and y coordinate from the top you can specify it here exactly how you want it and whether you want all of these at all you can specify by either clicking on or off any of these buttons here. So let me do it in a simple way first just create the height and chain age annotation I'm going to click on OK pick insertion point of profile number one which is shown in the highlight. So if you have selected multiple profiles each one gets highlighted and you can specify and create the profile for each one of them. So here we have the profile already. If I zoom in here you can get some of the important properties and parameters of the profile. This is exactly what we set in the dialog box. You may recall that we chose only height and chain age annotations so you get only height and chain age here so the distances are measured from this point so if you see in the parameters dialog what we saw just now the height text chain age text 20 and 40 from the top then over here you have the vertical elevations starting from the datum which is which we set as 370 this is the profile which is created as one single closed polyline. So you can get the entire area of this polyline and that multiplied by the swath width or the width of your road or pipe uh, excavation will give you the you know the area as well. And this is the uh, root number. So this is the profile which has been created by linear interpolation which means you can see that the annotation is along the annotation interval which in this case is 100 so at every 100 200 you have the annotation and the two vertices here show the profile interval which means the polyline has been profiled using the profile interval and annotated using the annotation interval 
now let us create another profile by changing some parameters so I'm going back to the command here so in this case now I'm going to do a source annotation so I'm not doing by profile interpolation but I'm doing by source so these two have got deactivated and just for fun I'm going to switch on all these options so you can see all the other annotations are going to be created now so this is the source annotation um, the points are at irregular intervals because these are the actual source points and these are the annotations for the source points the height the chainage and we switched on the other options so you have the root name the segment distance the x coordinate the y coordinate and so on now let us once again run this command and I'm going to choose this option now draw profile grid lines as well so you can see the profile grid x size is 100 y size is 10 so let me just make this as 20 for example and I'm going to go back to interpolate and you can see that now we have the profile with the grid also so you can use it for some better reference points and so on now there are a couple of things that I want to point out in this command say for example there's an option here called highlight crossing objects this is not yet implemented of course if you uh, click on source you can see that you can select it but I suggest that you don't use it for now because this is still work in progress so that is how the profile command works do let me know if you have any questions thank you